Welcome to a brand new podcast. And again, this is the Oracle 19. And my name is Greatness. I'd like to give a shout out to all of my supporters that keep on supporting the machine. Definitely thank you for your continuing support. And you can shop online to our baby shopper more, which is www.evolutionoflondon.com. There is a whole wide range of products from clothing, accessories, that's house products. We have jewelry as well, arts and crafts, pictures, posters, furniture, etc., etc., etc. So shop online, www.evolutionoflondon.com. Also, you can shop to our other shopping mall, or other website, I should say. That's evolutionoflondon.org. Once again, that's www.evolutionoflondon.org. O-R-G. There we have custom clothing, accessories, digital products, more posters that we have, artwork. You definitely will like it. We have Egyptian artwork that we implemented, so definitely check that out. You will like it. Ebooks, of course. That's for personal as well as business use, so we expanded on that. So check out www.evolutionoflondon.org, O-R-G. Also, you can check out our other, our new website, which is www.evolutionoflondon.store. Store, S-T-O-R-E. That's strictly smaller products, accessories, uh, DVDs. More ebooks there too, so smaller pro- and books, actual physical books there. So check that out, www.evolutionoflondon.store for your everyday enjoyment. Check out Royalty Nine International. About, I believe I was told two weeks away for launching his luxury candles. So check out www. Royalty9International.com for luxury candles. And he also have a Instagram page, which is Royalty9International. So check that out as well. Music by Cheap Limousine. Cheap Limousine channel on YouTube. Whole wide range of different beats. And once you go to his YouTube page, you will see his other social media sites or that you can click on as well. And speaking, continue on YouTube, Greatness 19 channel. That's our educational channel, whole wide range of educational channel, or educational videos, I should say, to open up your third eye. So check out Greatness 19 channel on YouTube. And continue on YouTube, Mr. Evolution of London. That's our health and wellness channel. So definitely check that out because there's a lot of good videos. We just talk about you know, different products and different foods that you should have in the house for your overall health and wellness. So check out Mr. Evolution of London. Any business or sponsorship inquiries, you can email us at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. If any business inquiries, if you want to put your business on this platform, or promote, I should say. So email us at evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. Same email if you want to make a free will offering. Do our PayPal account. That's evolutionoflondon at gmail.com. Same email. 
and we have different links to other sites, which is www.linktree forward slash evolution of London. And also we have different videos on our Patreon account, which is not on YouTube. And on our Patreon account, we have different other products and services and digital arts as well. So check out www.patreon.com forward slash evolution of London. Support Mr. Will. He's a fitness consultant for over 15 years. If you want to book a consultation, email him at williesfitness99 at gmail.com. So that's willies, W-I-L-L-Y-Z, fitness99 at gmail.com. And he has also merchandise as well. www.wjaaccessories.com. That's www.wjaaccessories. Dot com. And the Oracle 19 podcast is on all major platforms. We're on Anchor.fm, Google, iTunes, Apple, Spotify, just to name a few. So like, su- like, subscribe, and share on that platform, our platform, and also the two other major platforms that we have, which is the Greatness 19 channel, as well as Mr. Evolution of London. All the information that I haven't mentioned will be in the description box of all those three major platforms. So definitely like, subscribe, share, and show love. Okay, today we're gonna talk about a topic Again, as usual, I always give my perspective. Today we're going to talk about, is this the devil's world? Again, I repeat, is this the devil's world? And again, I always give my perspective. A lot of y'all guys will probably agree with what I'm saying. And... Some of your guys have pretty much given up hope of how to prepare in this world that we live in. Now, what do I mean by is this the devil's world for some of your guys? My perspective, this world is really, we living in hell, just put it like that. With all the things that is going on today. And I mentioned that in other different shows. Definitely check out the older shows. But with what's going on today with... Let's start with the current situation. War. Just in case you... I know everybody, most people know that the war going on with Russia and Ukraine, so I don't have to really get into that part. But the question you have to ask yourself, is it affecting us around the world? Yes, it is. Because again, as citizens, we in the middle. What do I mean? government, let's say, let's just take the U.S. as example, and we could go with the North America in general. As you know, gas prices is crazy, and I'm just using that as an example. In different parts of the country, gas prices is as high as $7 per gallon. But basically, it ranges from like four to let's say six dollars throughout the United States. In other countries, it's basically the same or very similar as well. Now, here's the thing as the gas prices continue to increase in this world that you live in the devil's world 
How you gonna manage? Have you ever given thought? How much do it cost you to fill up your tank of gas? Just regular. Now, times that by four weeks. Okay, then times it some more by 12 months. Some of your guys be spending three to five thousand dollars per year on gas alone just to commute. Try to figure out how to cut that cost. Maybe you need to invest in an e bike or just a regular bike. This is all part of survival in this world that we live in. Basically, I'm going to be focusing a lot on survival. Because if you don't, the question you have to ask yourself, who's going to help you? You got to think about your pockets. I just gave you an example. Some of your guys have the big trucks. It might cost you $80, $100 to fill up your tank per week. And if it's $100 times four, $400, then times it by 12 months. But again, that's random. That's, that's just regular gas. We're not even talking about the good stuff. Supreme. So some of y'all guys, it could be five to $6,000 per year. Or maybe four to five hundred per month, depending. How you gonna survive? How you gonna function? Finding new ways in this devil's world that you are residing. What about food? You go to certain supermarkets, your local supermarket. And you see your favorite cereal, your favorite cereal not there. What you gonna do? How you gonna survive? You used to buying potato chips every week. That's even rising. My suggestion is. Getting the essential foods, the important foods for your survival. Maybe cutting down on going to restaurants or buying junk food. Question you have to ask yourself do you really need that soda? Can you survive on making your own juices? I'm just saying, in terms of cutting costs. Supermarkets that is running out of food. Are you trying to store food, water, the essentials? What if, for example, the water goes bad? Municipal water is polluted. I mean, it's beyond even drink, being able to drink out of it. And you need water to survive, of course. Have you thought, ever thought about buying, going to the Army, your local Army, Navy store and getting iodine, potassium iodine tablets? Have you ever thought about that? That can help in terms of taking away the toxins out of that water for you to drink and manage. Point being, having iodine potassium iodine tablets you can go online and seek out that check your google your closest army navy store check out things to survive in this devil's world that you live in
I could easily, this topic, this show, I could talk about how to survive in this devil's world. I like that better. How to survive in this devil's world. Because that's really, I'm, I'm getting into the survival part of things. If your electricity goes out. In the city, and y'all got most a lot of y'all guys living in the cities. How are you gonna get electricity? What are you gonna do without electricity? That's the question. That's the question. You better stock up on candles. Batteries, flashlights, electric lamps powered by batteries, your local dollar store, you shop online for it, learning to survive in this new world, surviving in this devil's world. better prepare because it's here don't underestimate the situations around you because when things really get bad what you gonna do and some of you individuals that live in the cities by the water where the water is sea level is really sea level it's not above it's either below sea level or on sea level aka New York City on sea level different other places coastal places how you feel about buying one of those blow up boats or canoes looking at your army navy store what do you think about that just having that you might think it's silly uh, I don't want I don't need to think about that but let's say for example the water rises because in this world we live in governments is polluting the air global warming I'm sure you heard about that have you thought about investing in a one of those blow up boats maybe to hold about two to four people it might cost you some hun- a couple hundred of dollars but you live in on sea level in these cities and when the water rise what you're going to do I know New York City had an issue with the storm Hurricane Sandy and a lot of in a lot of parts of New York City was flooded. Really bad. People's cars were destroyed, among other things. So preparing yourself. Suppose suppose you're if you're not in a high rise and you're living in a a house in the city, or any of the cities that you reside and let's say water rise and destroy your home maybe you need to invest in a tent a a real good tent might cost you a couple hundred dollars but when you think that's a, a good investment to survive surviving in this devil's world that you reside in what do you think? A tent. There's tents you can get online. New tents that can that can house two to four people or more, depending how much you want to spend. Because tents could be a couple, like one to two hundred, can be even a couple of thousand. But we, you know, obviously you're not looking at thousands. But let's say a couple hundred. Because if your house is destroyed, you might have to live outdoors 
and you need something to keep yourself warm. What about investing in a good tent? What do you think? Army Navy store. Go and Google your closest Army Navy store and do business. Are you buying canned goods? Even though canned goods is not the greatest of food to eat, yes, I know, but it's something to survive. Can you at least last a month if the supermarkets is shut down or limit you to go into? Do you have enough food to last you at least one month? Let alone three months. I know most of y'all guys, you barely have enough food to last you one week. But start storing canned goods a little bit at a time. Is that a bad thing? Have you thought about it? Are you doing it? You should. Canned goods. And you can get... And, and even canned goods, the prices is rising. You find, if you notice, there's not a lot of canned goods that you used to get it for one can, two for 59 cents. Maybe I'm dating myself, my age or whatever, but a canned good for a dollar, that type of thing. You have to really go to the dollar stores and even, I don't see it. Nowadays, dollar stores, their price, they, that's not a dollar store anymore. They say a dollar store, but prices for their items is like three, four dollars. So where's the dollar store? Things change. But you can still shop at dollar stores to get cheap canned goods or the regular supermarkets. You just have to hunt and and gather. So that might help you in your survival. What about if it's an emergency and your home is destroyed, you don't have a tent, fire damage or water damage, you know, major catastrophe, God forbid. Do you have a place, a family member, a friend, a foe that you can stay? If something really happens to you and yours... Where you gonna go? Who would take you in? Long term or short term? Something to think about. It's about preparing. Now, nobody's gonna be perfect. You can't prepare for every thing, but you can put yourself in a good position. With what's going on today, and jobs is not stable, like it, like our foreparents, our foreparents were working at a, a job for 40, 50 years. In this day and time, that's not guaranteed to us in this day and time. We're lucky to work at a, one particular job for two years. I hear most people that has been at a job for 20, 25, 30 years been working at that job since the 90s, the 80s when things was a little different, a little better in terms of the economy but now everything is up and down I am happy to see a lot of people is just trying to create their businesses online because that's a means of survival but the ones that don't have that opportunity and they working at a regular job, what are you going to do if you laid off? How much money you have to last you so you can survive? Now, I know the average person will have three months of money flow to, for them to pay their rent, let alone the average person basically, if they lucky, two weeks two weeks of money before it runs out let alone a month or two months 
But it's what don't you think it's time, guys, to start thinking in these directions with what's going on in the world today? Do you know where your local farm is? If you have to gather food because your supermarket is not allowing you, they rationing the food. Do you know where your nearest farms are located? Do you think it's time maybe to get in touch with some of these farmers? See if you can get certain foods delivered to your home. Do you think it's a good practice to start investigating where these farms is? And I know in the cities, such as New York City, you might have to find, uh, seek out farmers in, uh, in Jersey, Connecticut, maybe about 50 to 80 miles away from the city. But just to know where you can go, get no- telephone numbers, addresses of these farmers. So if you have to gather certain food, you can get it straight from the farm. Just saying. These are the basic things in terms of positioning yourself, surviving in this devil's world. That's going to be where I'm going to put it. I like that. Scrap what I said earlier. Is this the devil's world? You know the answer to that. Yes. <laughs> so, surviving in this devil's world. I just switch gears on y'all. But these are the things you should be thinking about. Because it's getting rough and the world is, again, is a lot of things that's going on. And don't think it's going to get better. The only way it get better is this whole world, in my opinion, just destroy it and start fresh. It's just too much corruption going on with government. And when you deal with when money is involved and, and greed and power, powers that be is not going to change up, and you just going and you just caught in the middle. So you better think of self, self preservation, and lining yourself up. Wherever you live, in the cities or country countryside, towns, village. If you have a home, get yourself a generator. If you want to order candles, order from me. I got your hookup. <laughs> Just DM me. I got your cup. Batteries and Flashlights, dollar store. Prepare, prepare. Have a plan in terms of having other income. I know money is tight. I get it. But take your, you know, every month you get a little, you got a little $25, 30 40 $50. Try to save if you know you're going to spend that money buy some silver bars at least then you can't spend that silver bars right now is like $32 an ounce somewhere around there you can google some of these gold and silver companies where you could buy at least silver this is a you don't have to go too crazy in terms of buying silver Uh, that's just another stream of income where you can trade when, when I was gonna say if, when money, the dollar crashes, that's just one way. Digital products, crypto, real estate. Obviously, okay, you're gonna say, well, greatness. I don't have that that long money to get a home. Crowdfunding real estate. You know. Uh, 
there are ways. Your God-given talent that you have, what you like, what's your favorite thing. Maybe you can cook. You're a great cook. Utilize Kijiji, Craigslist, local free sites where you can put your brand and you can make side money. You have, if you're a handyman or have handyman skills, utilize that. Electrician, utilize that. You might not be licensed electrician, but you have enough skills to do some handy work. Put your put an ad in the paper locally, free. I just gave you two, Craigslist, Kijiji, just, and I'm sure there's others. Utilize social media for free marketing. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Use those sites to implement your God-given skills. Free. Because you have to have multiple streams of income to survive out here. Surviving in this devil's world that you reside in, which is going to get more worse. I'm sure there's many, many things I could have I could mention, but I want to just condense this in a short show. I could be talking hours at a time. But it's just the moral of the story is just just to get you proactive to survive out here. Because it is real. Thank you for listening. Thank you.